So you might be wondering what the differences are between a public beta that officially comes. So you might be wondering what the differences are between a public beta and the developer beta on iOS. Now, iOS is very good. I love the operating system between iOS. We all know this. But I want to preface this whole video by saying you should never install any sort of beta, either a public beta or a developer beta, on your phone that you're using on an everyday basis. If you have some sort of side device or something like that, then that is pretty much what's I, I, then you can do whatever you want to at that point, but you should never install a beta in any sort on your main phone, whether it's an Android beta, Mac OS beta, Windows beta, whatever it is, just don't install it on your main device you're using, only install it on a side device. Now, the difference between the developer beta and the public beta is actually a pretty easy one to understand. The developer beta is really just a beta meant for developers. So what this means is this is going to be first in line. You're going to be basically getting these updates the day they come out, which is pretty cool. So whenever the, uh, you know, the, so whenever the beta officially comes out, you're going to be getting it first in line, which is awesome. The public beta usually comes out a couple of days or maybe even a couple of weeks after the developer beta comes out. Right now on iOS 17, we're still on a developer beta. We're going to be getting the public beta, I think, in the next couple of weeks. So there sometimes can be a little bit of a waiting period for the public beta. And the public beta is meant for exactly what the name suggests. It is that public is for the public. If you want to install it on your device, well, you can just install it and you can pretty much go down that direction. Now, a thing to keep in mind, the public beta usually is free. You don't have to have a developer account for the developer beta. Now on iOS 17, Apple kind of required us to have a developer account, but also not really now. So like you don't have to pay the $100 anymore, but maybe they'll change in the future again. So there's less stipulations on a public beta than a developer beta. So just keep that in mind as well. The biggest thing though, also, you know, kind of factoring everything else in is that with a public beta, it tends to be a little bit more stable than the developer beta. Now, I've also feel, felt like sometimes, you know, a public beta is almost the same thing as the developer beta, but there's also been times where Apple has fixed issues that were on the developer beta before they released it on the public beta. So I say that to say, if you are planning on installing the public beta, well, you just kind of, again, want to make sure that you're installing it on a side device and not your main one. But a big thing too, is that if you have to go and install a beta, the public beta is going to be a little bit more secure than the developer beta, or at least it's going to potentially have less issues on the public beta than on the developer beta side. So ultimately what I'll tell you is, is that both the developer beta and the public beta have their strong suits and have their issues. The developer beta usually comes out earlier. You'll get the, you'll be able to test the features out earlier and, you know, you're first in line for the next update too. But a public beta is more secure. Usually it's easier to get your hands on. You can install it without having to have a developer account or maybe you have to have one, but you don't have to pay the money for it. And it tends to be more secure and more stable, but neither one of these are as stable or as secure as the official iOS version. So stick with, you know, the official iOS version, just continue to install those ones. I wouldn't recommend messing around with these betas. They're just not worth installing. Stick with the official version and then you can go down that direction. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.